What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Will Smith. I'm pretty sure y'all know about the video that he posted today where he was publicly apologizing to Chris Rock months after the infamous slap heard around the world. And he answered a couple of questions that people probably, probably the, the most frequent question has been going on. I'm pretty sure he's seen the comments and what people were asking of him. And he answered them in this five minute video that he posted to his YouTube page, as well as his Instagram. Now, what I will say about Will Smith is this, you know, Will Smith is a guy that clearly had issues growing up and those issues followed him into adulthood and his energy got locked with Jada Pinkett's energy. And what has happened is that you've seen a guy who already had issues to begin with latching on to someone who he now feels like he needs to protect. He needs to defend, even though according to him, she never asked him to slap Chris Rock. He wanted to absolve her of anything, of any guilt, you know, any guilt, any type of culpability in this. I believe he even apologized to her too. That's how controlled Will Smith is, unfortunately. The sad part is that Jada Pinkett Smith threw him under the bus when she did her newest season of Red Table Talk and absolved herself of any responsibility in that. Even though Will Smith reacted to what she did, because I'm pretty sure they have spoken about Chris Rock before. And that's why he felt the need to jump up and do what he did because he felt like in that moment she needed me. So I needed to defend her in that moment. When in reality, he didn't have to. And ultimately, he got a lot of ridicule, backlash, and his reputation is forever scarred by this. But if you look at Will Smith, he's a guy that has destroyed his own brand due to wanting to be relatable and wanting to be the bad one in a relationship. Because a lot of times what people gotta understand is you have women like Jada Pinkett who wanna be the good one in the relationship. She doesn't wanna be seen as the bad person. So they will date men who have bad reputations, who are womanizers because those men are flawed. But Will Smith, the guy didn't have a lot of glaring flaws out there. And I think after a while, Jada got tired of that. She got tired of being seen as, you know, not the good one. And that is why I think Will Smith has been sabotaged. Even though he's a grown man, he makes his own decisions. The guy was sabotaged. Let's be real. He was sabotaged by her. You did what you did because you've spoken with Jada about Chris Rock before. And maybe there were there was animosity there that he didn't even know. Because you don't get up and slap somebody unless you have animosity. You know, I did a video about there was a rumor that Jada and Chris Rock hooked up with each other. Now, you got to understand something. Jada had an addiction to having relations. She did. She had an addiction to it. And she's married so i don't think she's just was screwing will and there's been rumors of her getting with other men as well that's been out there and honestly looking at this apology him wanting to absolve her of any type of culpability i think once again it shows that she still has him wrapped around her finger let's get into this variety article Will Smith has opened up about the ongoing controversy surrounding his slapping of Chris Rock at this year's Academy Awards, offering up his most unvarnished thoughts about an altercation that has marred his public image. In an emotional YouTube post, Smith addressed why he didn't apologize to Rock when he accepted the Best Actor Prize for his work in King Richard. 
shortly after he charged the stage and slapped the comedian for making a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith's short hair. It's all fuzzy. He says, I've reached out to Chris and the message that came back is he's not ready to talk and when he is, he will reach out. Smith once again reiterated that he was sorry for his actions, calling his behavior unacceptable. The actor has said he responded violently because Rock's joke referenced the hair loss of Jada Pinkett Smith suffered uh, because of her alopecia. It's a struggle that Pinkett Smith has publicly addressed in the past. There is no part of me that thinks that what that was the right way to behave in that moment, Smith, who sighs deeply at points and seems to be fighting back tears, says in the video, there's no part of me that thinks that the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or insults. Smith also addressed questions about whether or not Pinkett Smith, who was seen on camera rolling her eyes at rocks, comparing her buzz cut to the one Demi Moore sports in GI Jane had urged Smith to charge the stage. The actor said his wife said nothing to spur him to do the slapping of Chris Rock. You know, that could be the case. That could be the case because I, I don't think that she pointed and said, get him. But there are certain things called non verbal communications, you know, uh, signals, non verbal cues. She gave him a nonverbal cue to do something. That's why she rolled her eyes. Because I believe she rolled her eyes and looked at him. Because why else would he get up? Because if that, and that joke happens, he looks to her. She rolls her eyes and looks to him. That's why he got up and did what he did. Because he was triggered by defense and defending people. Again, that that's a... That's a, a way to control men is to say, hey, you never protect the women in your past when you were a child, so you need to defend me. And that's what Jada Pinkett wants. She wants to control this guy, and that's what she has. That's why this guy still feels like he needs to defend her when she threw him under the bus. Unbelievable. It's like, you know, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris Smith says, Jada had nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, baby. I want to say sorry to my kids and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. There have been speculation that Smith would open up about the fallout surrounding the rock slap in a sit down interview with a high profile journalist like Oprah Winfrey, but instead the actor has opted to use social media to directly address his fans in a wake the slap smith resigned from the academy of motion picture arts and science and the group behind the oscars and offered up statements of contrition but has otherwise maintained a low profile you know i read in an article that him and jada kind of went their separate ways during the summer and that's why he was sort of out of sight and out of mind for for months is because he basically her that they basically separated you know she went on to do red table talk and he was you know doing whatever he's doing and the thing that will smith got to understand is is that this could have been avoided if you would understand listen this ain't the right time to handle things we have to be professional but that's why i say man you know her and him have had these conversations and she's i believe she has emotionally blackmailed him i think that she has played herself to be the victim and she succeeded she's ex succe uh, ex uh. <laughs> she succeeded in being able to get him to basically destroy himself in order to protect her ego because he didn't even clown her make any like harsh jokes it was an ego thing with her she doesn't like chris you don't roll your eyes at somebody unless you don't like them. She doesn't like Chris Rock. And Will Smith knows that. Will Smith knows that Jada doesn't like Chris. And that's why he hopped up and did what he did. Because he doesn't like Chris. Because of 
maybe how Jada feels about him. Rock recently broke his silence during a stand-up show in New Jersey on July 24th. Anyone who has who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. Rock joked, according to U.S. Weekly, he went on to say he wasn't a victim, joking, yeah, that shit hurts, mf -er, but I shook that shit off and went to work the next day. I don't got I don't go to the hospital for a paper cut. On Oscar Night Smith slap rock moments before the award for best documentary was about to be presented to so a summer of soul director Amir Questlove Thompson. The shock response the shock response to the incident overshadowed Thompson's time at the podium. To all my fellow nominees, you know this is a community it's like i won because you voted for me smith says in the video and it really breaks my heart to have stolen and tarnished your moment i can still see quest love's eyes you know it happened on quest love's award and you know it's like i'm sorry really isn't sufficient no it isn't no it isn't and when you look at everything that he is doing he put the video on YouTube. He wants to go directly to his fans, which is what you want to do. You want to go directly to your fans to basically plead your case. And that's what he did with this YouTube video. He took his apology to the people. Now, I don't know if y'all are going to forgive him. I really don't have any issue. It looks like Chris Rock has moved on, but it was a sucker move. It was a sucker move that never should have happened, man. And that's why Will Smith truly needs to be healed. If you think you need to defend your wife from, from words, then you, you really are in a lot worse position than anybody realized. And I think the best remedy for that, the best remedy for, I think, Will Smith is for him to grow a set and divorce Jada. I think that would be the best thing for his career moving forward. I think if he divorced Jada Pinkett, a lot of people will start to understand the situation because you know stuff is going to come out and they will say you know what i side with will smith again because she was the problem and everybody knows it so let me say in the comment section below let me know your thoughts like this video and share it. follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i will see y'all on the next one